All right, let's try this again. I do apologize for the technical difficulties. Welcome again. So if you're here, just uh, leave me a comment. Let me know that you're in the room. Let me know if you can hear me fine. I am outside. As you can see, we are praying that it doesn't rain. Hi, Jack. Welcome. Hi, Pavla. Hi, Sky. Sky, did you ever write that astrological report? I totally forgot to check in with you. Ah, oh, wonderful. So we'll just give it another minute and we're going to dive in. Hi, Stefan, Azra, Michelle. How's everybody doing? How's your Venus retrograde been for you? Um, I know that we're now in the rising as the morning star phase of Venus retrograde, so it feels like a breath of relief in many ways. Um, feels like a lot of new ideas and new integrations and expanded understandings of relating and sexuality and love have come through. Um, and of course, we're still working through the residual distortions in the geometries of our consciousness in, in regarding to these aspects of life. Um, but what a brilliant whirlpool and washing machine we have been in together this last month or two. Hi, Bridget. Okay, so... If you haven't been a part of a group healing before, how this is going to work is I'm going to guide us in a guided meditation to lead us into a kind of half trans hypnotic state. And then I'm going to um, use um, a combination of quantum healing and theta healing and also my own healing modality uh, called source field healing to um, clear out any distortions or uh, frozen emotional miasms that are in the body and the multi-dimensional self. And then towards the end, um, I'm going to be opening up to do some uh, very quick private readings. Um, so if anyone is sticking around till then, just ask and post in the comment section. All right, so if you will get into a comfortable position, either sitting or lying down, and we will begin the process. So starting with just taking some long, deep breaths into the lower belly. We're coming into a state of relaxation, of comfort. Moving the breath deep into the body. Beginning to bring all the parts of ourself back into the present. Any pieces of ourself that we may have left in other places, with other people, on tasks, even in dream time. 
Bring all the pieces of yourself back into the body now. Taking long, deep breaths of integration. And continuing to follow your breath. Bring all of these parts of yourself that are newly come back into all the parts of your body that you may not always be aware of. Breathing into your feet, into your toes, into your ankles. Breathing into your knees and your legs and your hips. Breathing into your pelvic girdle, into your organs, into your back and the shoulders and your arms. Breathing into all the hairs that are growing all over your body. Breathing into the blood vessels, into the nervous system, breathing life into the lymphatic system. For anyone who is just joining the room now, we are partaking in a quantum healing. So just get into a comfortable position and begin to breathe into the body. And just tune your energy into the field as we continue uh, one level deeper. Beginning to breathe into all of the cells in the body, moving into the cellular matrix of the body. Breathing into your muscle cells, your bone cells, your blood cells. Okay, now we're going to move our awareness into the nucleus of the cells, tuning into all the DNA material that is in this geometric configuration in the matrix of your physical body. Tuning into all the biophotons that the genetic material is composed of. Deeply sinking into this knowing that we are literally made of light, even as scientists have found. Okay, I'm just going to begin by doing a light clearing here. This first procedure is to dissolve any density in our aura, which job is to really protect us from getting hurt or filtering energy. Now we're just going to dissolve the aspects of it which are based on previous traumas or previous moments of being hurt. And we're going to enhance the intelligence of this function, of this layer of the aura. And pull it into the present moment. So the next part, we're still working on reconfiguring this aspect, this outside portion of the aura. And this part of the aura kind of works the other way where we're filtering how we're emitting or expressing our energy. 
And so this is the part of ourself that is afraid that if we express in a certain way, then we're um, not going to be received well or not going to be loved. And so we're clearing this field of density in the aura so that we are free to express as our authentic self. Um, and this could be, you know, things, this could have formed when we were very young. Even when you're being silly in the classroom and the teacher tells you to stop, you know, these little experiences build up in our energy body and hinder us from really expressing ourselves. And this is related to the giving and receiving love because what we're really wanting is for our true self, our authentic self to be loved. And all of these programs or these densities in this part of the aura, which keeps us from expressing as that, we are just clearing away with the source energy. I blue source energy to envelop our group, envelop this container in this safe and beautiful vibration of unconditional mother and fatherly love, total acceptance, I'm feeling that this energy moves through the left knee, knowing that even if this energy isn't present in our present life, that our own higher self, which is our mother and our father and the earth and the universe, all encourage us to really align to who we are because that is why we came to experience ourself, our individual spirits, our unique expression in this physical body. So we're dissolving all distortions and energy which is feeling like our creator feels that we're not good enough or that our creator is wanting us to be different. So we're clearing out the geometries of energy which are in resonance with not being good enough, having to change the self Breathe, release, let go. Breathe, release, let go. Okay, so now we're going to move a layer deeper into the body, having cleared out this part of the aura we're going to move into kind of like the between the skin and three inches off the body this layer so again we're clearing out these geometries which hinder the expression of our uniqueness whether that be projections from the outside or from the inside, from within ourself. Oh, 
Flowing source light into this densest part of our aura, about three inches close to our skin, dissolving all distortions, all density that is keeping us from expressing our authentic self, whether that be projections from within or outside of us. Running a brilliant golden light through this layer of the aura. And Source Creator, we're commanding that each soul essence fills the space, fills this layer of the aura with the divine light and love of their own soul essence. Reconnect, release, let go. Breathe. Okay, so now we're going to work on the heart chakra. And we're releasing the geometries, which... And you're going to hear kind of the same themes again and again, because, you know, healing is really simple, and being human is really simple. And there is little stopping us, humanity, from really just jumping into the reality where we are in love with each other, with the world, with our life. I mean, this is our natural state of being. And so let's let go of all programs and belief systems, which makes us think that we have to work for so hard and for so long to reach this inevitable but far away place in our development where we can finally experience love. No. This is our presence. This is our beingness. This is our truth. It's our love. And so just breathe into the heart space, into the sternum, lighting up the heart chakra with this emerald and lime blue light swirling. Again, we're dissolving all geometries, densities of energy that make us feel like we're not good enough or that we're not deserving of love. And shooting a line of source light through your heart, through your entire timeline, moving all the way back into the moment of your conception. Even back through your mother, through your father, through all of the uh, center of their beingness, through your timelines of your ancestors. Restoring all beings all distortions to love. There's this reverse code here, which sounds like if I am expressing my brightest self, if I am expressing my angelic self, if I am expressing my greatest highest self, then some won't understand and thus become angry or not love us. And so let's release this program. Whew. Breathe, let go. Release. Ah, oh, breathe, let go. Okay, we're going to extend this light through the heart chakra, through the sternum, into the clavicles and the shoulder blades. Into the shoulders. And into the flesh that is here but piercing this light through all the layers, all the densities of your flesh. Let's clear out all the times that we felt hurt. Let's let go of the past. Let's let go of our need to feel pain in order to feel love. 
So let's set an intention here. Let us set intention here in our heart in this present moment that we are worthy of experiencing love in each moment. That we are love in every moment in, in this body. Radiating that energy out into the flesh, into the body, into all the layers and densities and dimensions which is composed within the body. And breathe, let go. Begin to expand this light beyond the body. Let's say 10 feet on either side and above. Feeling this auric pair of angelic wings spreading far, spreading wide. Now breathing this energy into our mind. Accessing all the parallel versions of self, all of our inner children, all of the ideas of who we are, and shooting this energy of being present in love through them, to them. Clearing all programs which hinder our expression of ourself. Breathing in this truth that that which we are is only love to be experienced and expressed and shared in each moment. Okay. And there's some emotional energies that are arising so let's take all of these emotions that were stuck in a particular vibration or a particular geometry and let us take it out of your field. Watch clear with the love light of source. Breathe, let go, release. All frozen emotional energies, not of love, not of grace are taken from the body and field, wash clear with the love light of source. Breathe, let go, clear, clear, clear. Okay. Let's bring that emotional energy back into the body, breathe through the higher self and the high heart to be reintegrated into our body. Breathe, let go. Breathe. Okay, so now we're going to move all of this love and this presence that we have gathered down through the solar plexus. This is where the real work begins, my friends. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to start to swirl this loving energy in our solar plexus. Okay, and there's going to be some energies that arise. We're just, we've already seeded our intention and notified the geometries that are being cleared. So we're just swirling. Breathe. And I want you to imagine or visualize this very large, magical blue butterfly with gold rims coming, flying, fluttering in your energy field. Its wingspan is as wide as your body, maybe even as wide as your aura. And we're just going to have this butterfly gently land on the solar plexus in the middle of your belly. And as this butterfly is gently fluttering its wings very slowly, breathe. We're beginning to awaken and ruffle up all the versions of ourself that are 
ego that was away from our higher self have been? All the parts of ourself, all the expressions of ourself that maybe were not absolutely whole, were complete. And we're going to bring up all the shame and guilt, unworthiness that we felt subconsciously in those expressions of self. And breathe, allow the butterfly's wings to do its work. Releasing all my asthmic, frozen emotional energy. Breathe, expand, let go. I tuning into the subconscious intelligence of the body, the consciousness of the body. And we're releasing all times when we judged our body, we based our worth or value on our body, on the appearance of our body, on the fitness of our body, on the health of our body. Releasing all of the feelings of being misunderstood or feelings of being neglected from the somatic body, the intelligent body. Any time that we may have harmed our body to achieve some sort of egoic goal, releasing trauma from the somatic self, from these experiences. Release, let go. The butterfly fills your aura, fills your body with this delicious, joyful feeling of lightness, of this nectar. As its final departing gift, you acknowledge its presence. We are grateful for this healing that this being has brought us. And as you say your goodbyes, the butterfly begin to lift its feet and flutter its wings a little quicker and depart from your body. He says that he is your friend. We can welcome his energy and presence back for his help in any moment. So breathing light into the lower belly now, into the sacral chakra.
Let us sever all connections or cords or lines of energy that are going out to people unconsciously. Severing all cords, all connections, not of love, not of grace, not of purity. Clear? Let go. Breathe. Breathing light, breathing love into the lower belly. Beginning to allow any pain, any trauma, any imprints from having been wounded, from relating to others through our sacral chakra. Any energies that are not yours, that belong to others, let us extract. Oh. Lift, breathe, push. Source, we're commanding that all energies, vibrations, frequencies that are not of our own soul frequency, not of our own spirit, our own body, from all dimensions, throughout all time space, and all parallel selves, be removed from our body and field, wash clear with the love light of source, and return to source to be reconfigured into the light. Let it return to their rightful owner, to the higher self and the high heart. Breathe, send love, send forgiveness, send acceptance, send gratitude. Okay, so there is an etheric part of our sexual organs um, that kind of looks like if you've ever seen the movie Avatar, you know, when they um, ride their horses, they have these little tendrils that come out of their hair that connect with the horse tail or something like that. I think that I think is the tail. But anyway, and this connects the two beings energetically so that they could communicate in a multidimensional uh, physical connection. And so this occurs as well when we are in the process of making love that our um, this this etheric part of our sexual organs will emerge from the sacral chakra and merge with that of our other okay so we're repairing here this etheric organ as when we make love have sex outside of alignment outside of love these tendrils um, get damaged and this can cause, you know, emotional instability or just a deep sense of unworthiness or being broken. So let us wrap this part of ourselves up in this brilliant healing golden pink light, calling forth Isis and Kuan Yin to pour their beautiful healing starry waters over our sacral chakra rejuvenating, repairing our etheric sexual organs. Breathe in. Breathe in ecstasy and bliss. Breathe in love and comfort. Breathe in security and trust. Let's connect this part of ourself that may be reluctant or fearful of future interactions of sexuality due to previous negative experiences. Let us connect this part of ourself to our presence, to our higher self. And in this now moment, acknowledge that we have learned discernment. We have learned that it is important to be in alignment of energy, of love of understanding, of emotions. And just allow this part of yourself in the belly to know that you will be present, that you will take care of her or him, that you will be vigilant and mindful as you engage in these exchanges and this again ties into the body feeling neglected or the body feeling misunderstood 
as the body has its innate intelligence and its own feelings. And when we get into situations that directly wound our body to fulfill an egoic or a need of the mind, a desire of the mind, we can build up these miasms or pain in the body. Okay, breathe, let go. Breathe, let go. And so let us clear out any reversals in the sexual organs that are related to the sensation of pleasure. And again, because the body has its innate intelligence, when it's not feeling, most of the time it is just communicating something to us. Maybe it is its way of protecting itself. And there's so many different parts of ourselves that these avoidance or wounds could be coming from. So let's restore to our healthy blueprint and connect these parts to our higher self. And energy is still moving here, so just keep breathing. Breathe, let go. And so now we're moving into this understanding and this reconnection between our higher self and our.